What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. If you guys missed my earlier player review, it was a second inform bill. Make sure you check it out if you're thinking of purchasing it for around 4 million coins. Anyway, if you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coin, check out battleo.com. The link will be in the description. Use the code Itani to get 5% off. We're going to be looking at second inform Diego Costa. He is now Spanish. But I just want to let you guys know I can't exactly compare him to the inform because I tried the inform on the previous generation and it was before he was upgraded. So some of the comparison is going to be kind of unfair, but I'm going to try my best to make it fair, I guess. But anyway, let's begin. So to begin with, Diego Costa, his pace has been upgraded heavily from the non-inform to this one now. Um, pretty good pace to be honest with you guys for a striker. He has over 80 pace. That is good enough. I think he has like 85 pace now. He's pretty damn fast. Decent dribbler but his agility is shit. I think his agility is like 67 but his ball control is like 86 and his dribbling is like 87. So if you can get the ball to him he is good at dribbling and you know passing defenders but turning with him it just seems very, very hard sometimes. Just sometimes, not all the time. His agility is 67, and that is a big letdown. Very good finish in the penalty area. You should be able to finish everything in the penalty area with him. If you can't, then you might be shit at FIFA. But no, seriously, he's just pretty damn good at finishing. But that comes as no surprise with 97 finishing. He has good long shots and really good shot power. So you should be able to score a lot of long shots because I think he has like 99 shot power, which is freaking amazing, man. Very good heading and height. This guy is like six foot three, six foot four, probably. But he has a very shit jumping stat, so he has like 63 jumping or something like that. So pretty crappy, but if you're that tall, you won't really need to jump, and he scored me a couple of headers, so... No, no problem there, to be honest with you guys. Um, very good strength and aggression, he has 99 aggression and 98 strength. Which means he shouldn't get bullied off the ball very easily, correct? I mean, he is probably one of the strongest strikers you could get in Ultimate Team, but... He isn't exactly amazingly strong. Now, he does have 98 strength and 99 aggression, but his balance make him sort of unbalanced, I guess, because every time defenders are pushing him off the ball, he go he just falls onto the ground. But he is definitely strong, just not as strong as 99 aggression and 98 strength. Keep that in mind, guys. If you're thinking of purchasing him, just don't expect him to be Ibrahimovic strong. That's all there is to it. So, I guess that's all there is to it for the play review. Now, if I want to compare him to the Inform, uh, before he was upgraded, this guy is better than the uh, Inform in every single way. To be honest with you guys, agility is better. Um, he has a better shot, way better heading, better dribbling, and better pace. So, this guy, you could feel he is way better. But on the negative side, this guy obviously isn't perfect. He's out of position sometimes, but with high and high work rate, that is expected. But he's only out of position sometimes because he has 87 positioning and you can definitely tell um, in the penalty area he's always there or most of the time he's always there just out of position sometimes on rare occasions but with high and high work rates he's not out of position as other strikers. Definitely not as strong as uh, his in-game stats show and he has 3 star weak foot, 3 star skills and if you could pop up with his agility this guy could be an awesome target man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did I'd really appreciate a like. Make sure you let me know who you want me to review next in the comment section below and I hope you guys have a very nice day.